Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct an altitude of a triangle using a compass and a straight edge. In this case, we're going to use ruler. Now, in this video as well, I'm going to show you three cases of creating or drawing an altitude of a triangle. The first case would be on on an acute triangle, the second case would be on a right triangle, and the third case would be on an obtuse triangle. But before we go over the steps on how to construct an altitude of a right triangle, let's have the definition of altitude of a triangle. We remember that if we say altitude of a triangle, that is a segment drawn from the vertex of a triangle perpendicular to the opposite side of the triangle. So in this case right here, we can actually draw a line coming from this vertex and then going to the opposite side right here and making sure that that line is 90 degree angle compared to this uh, side right here. And then since there are three vertices of a triangle, so then that means we can actually create three or the maximum number of altitude for a triangle would be three. So we can also create another um, altitude coming from this vertex right here all the way to the opposite side. And then from this vertex all the way to the opposite side. Again, we remember that that altitude of a triangle or that line that we create from the vertex should be 90 degrees with respect to the side that is across from it. So let's get started. Again, there are three altitude of a triangle since there are three vertices of a triangle. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to construct an altitude coming from this vertex right here. Now, the steps that we're going to use here would be the same steps for all of the other vertices. So let's go over the steps. The first step is to put the sharp end of the compass on one of the vertices, stretch the compass and mark two arcs on the opposite side of the vertex. So in this case right here, this is the sharp edge of the compass. I'm gonna put that on that vertex and then I'm going to stretch it and then I will create two arcs on the side across from the vertex. So that's the first arc. Without changing the width of the compass, I am going to create another um, arc across from this first arc that I've created. So that's the other arc right here. And then that makes up the first step. The second step is to put the sharp end of the compass on the arc created from step one and mark an arc outside the triangle. Without changing the width of the compass, do the same on the other arc and make sure that the two arcs intersect. So what's going on here is that I will have to uh, put the sharp end of the compass on one of the arcs that I've created from the first step. And then I will um, create an arc, draw an arc outside of the circle. So that's the first arc. And I will, I should not be changing the width of the compass. I will do the same thing on the other side as well. So I'll put that in there and then I'm going to create that arc outside of the uh, triangle. So then we can go ahead and move on to the third step. The third step is to draw a line from the vertex from this point right here to the point of intersection of the two arcs. So what I would do is from this vertex, I will have to draw a line that connects the vertex and the point of intersection of the two arcs. This is actually what we have, um, what we actually have created is the altitude of a triangle. This means that this ray right here forms 90 degree angle on this corner. So this line right here is the altitude. So I'm just gonna go ahead and label that up here. We can repeat the same process if we wanted to get the altitude from this corner and from this corner. Again, the steps are pretty much the same thing. Now, what happens if the triangle is a right triangle? Now, let's move on to the next example. So the triangle that we have here is a right triangle because there's a small square that is in one of the located in one of the corners that tells us that it's 90 degrees. So we are going to draw an altitude 
coming from this vertex. Again, the steps would all be the same. The first step is to put the sharp end of the compass on one of the vertices, stretch the compass and mark two arcs on the side opposite the vertex. So we're gonna draw an altitude coming from this um, vertex right here. So I'm going to create an arc to the side opposite. So that's the first arc right there. And then I will have to create another arc on the other side, which is on the same side right here. It's way off. As you can see, the arc that we've created on the, I mean, the left side arc is actually off of the uh, triangle. That's okay. We can actually extend this side. Um, we can actually extend this side right here, which is opposite to that of the, that vertex right there. So let me extend this um, side right here. And so we can go ahead and uh, move on to the second step. The second step is to put the sharp end of the compass on one of the arcs created from step one and mark an arc outside the triangle. Without changing the width of the compass, do the same on the other arc and make sure that the two arcs intersect. So I will put the sharp edge of the uh, compass on the first uh, arc that we created from step one. And then I am going to create, um, mark an arc across, which is outside the triangle. And then another arc, I'm going to create another arc coming from this other um, arc that we created from step one and then draw that um, arc right there. And so that's the point of intersection between the two arcs. So then we are now ready to move on to the third step. The third step is to draw a line from the vertex to the point of intersection of the two arcs. So we were drawing from this vertex right here. So we're going to uh, create a line coming from the um, vertex going to the point of intersection of the two arcs. And so if you notice the line that we've created is actually the same side. So this is the altitude of this triangle coming from this vertex right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that up here. Please remember that if a triangle is a right triangle, the altitude that we create on this two legs of the triangle would be the same leg. So if we create an altitude coming from this vertex right here, it's gonna go, it's gonna be this line. However, the altitude for this could be somewhere around there. Now what happens if the triangle is an obtuse triangle? So in this figure, we are given an obtuse triangle. So this angle right here is more than 90 degrees and we're going to determine the altitude of a triangle and we are going to use this vertex right here. We are going to create an altitude of this triangle coming from this vertex. So we have the same steps. The first step is to put the sharp end of a compass on one of the vertices stretch the compass and mark two arcs on the side opposite the vertex. Coming from this vertex right here, I can strike or mark an arc on this side, which is the opposite side right here. So I can create that um, arc right there. So that's the first arc and I will have to do the same thing on the other side right here. So I will create another arc um, arc on this side. Now notice that this is actually outside the um, triangle. So we can actually uh, extend the length of this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a broken line that tells us that it's an extension of this side. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to put the sharp end of the compass on the arc created from step one and mark an arc outside the triangle. Without changing the width of the compass, do the same on the other arc and make sure that the two arcs intersect. So I will have to create an arc coming from this arc right here and then I will have, to, it has to be outside the triangle. So I'll have to create an arc somewhere around here and another arc coming from this arc from step one. Again, without changing the width of the compass, I will create another um, arc outside of the triangle. 
and so that this is the point of intersection. Now we're ready to move on to the third step. The third step is to draw a line from the vertex to the point of intersection of the two arcs. So this is the point of intersection of the two arcs. That's the vertex that we uh, we were drawing at the beginning. So then we can go ahead and um, draw a line coming from the vertex all the way to the point of intersection right here. So this line that or this ray that we've created is actually the altitude of this triangle. So I'm just going to label that up here. This means that this ray right here is actually 90 degree angle at this corner right there. So to sum it up, an altitude of a triangle can be inside the triangle. That would be the case if the triangle is acute, all of the altitude would go inside the triangle. Well, if the triangle is right triangle, the two altitude would be the two legs of the triangle. Well, if we have an obtuse triangle, we can have an altitude that is located outside the triangle. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!